Hey there, future remote worker. Are you dreaming of ditching that soul-crushing commute and working in your pajamas? Well, hold on to your ergonomic chair because not all that glitters in the world of remote work is gold. In fact, some of it is straight up fool's gold. Today, I'm pulling back the curtain on 10 remote jobs that could turn your work from home dream into a nightmare. And these are gigs that can ruin your career faster than you can say, you're on mute. All right, so what's up freedom seekers? It's Shane here, your guide to the wild world of remote work. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well, you know the drill. We're all about helping you escape the nine to five grind without falling into the work from home pitfalls. And in this video, you're gonna learn the 10 remote jobs that you need to avoid just like that sketchy gas station sushi. And you're also gonna learn why these jobs are bad, even if they sound tempting. And you're gonna learn how to spot similar traps in the future. And because I'm not all doom and gloom, some actually legit alternatives. So stick around because trust me, you don't want to miss these. All right, so let's dive into our list of remote job red flags. Buckle up because some of these might surprise you. First up, we've got the granddaddy of all work from home scams, multi-level marketing, or as I like to call it, mom, look, money disappearing. All right, so you know the drill, your old high school friend suddenly slides into your DMs and they say something along the lines of, hey man, what's up? Long time no see. I've got an amazing opportunity for you to be your own boss and make thousands of dollars from home. All you need to do is buy our starter kit for $500 and recruit 10 of your closest friends. Yeah, no, these jobs often masquerade as social media brand ambassador roles or wellness coaches, but here's the real tea. If you have to pay them to work for them, it's not a job it's a scam. So the reason you want to avoid these is because these schemes have a pyramid structure where only those at the top make real money. And the promises of huge incomes are about as realistic as my chances of becoming the next Batman. Now I know what you're thinking, but my cousin's roommate's dog walker made six figures doing this. And look, I'm not saying it's impossible to make money with MLMs. It's just about as likely as finding a unicorn in your backyard. It could happen, but I wouldn't bet my career on it. Next, we've got online survey taking. And I know you've probably seen the ads that pop up and they promise that you're gonna make $500 a day just sharing your opinion. And spoiler alert, the only opinion you'll be sharing is how much you regret wasting your time. Now, these gigs often found on different websites that people promote seem tempting. I mean, who doesn't wanna get paid for telling people what they think? It's like Twitter, but with less drama and more pocket change. But the problem is the pay is incredibly low. We're talking, I found some coins in my couch cushions low. So you might spend an hour hour answering questions about your laundry detergent preferences only to earn a whopping 50 cents. Now I'm not saying all of these sites are complete scams. Some of them actually do pay out eventually, but if you're looking for a real income, you'd be better off setting up a lemonade stand. At least then you'd get some vitamin C along with your pocket change. Next is going to be micro work platforms. Now these are not always the worst thing in the world, but the ways that many people use them are actually really bad. So you've got platforms like Amazon Mechanical Turk, where you can perform tiny tasks for tiny payments. And when I say tiny, I mean microscopic. These platforms offer tasks like identifying objects and photos, transcribing short audio clips, or writing product descriptions. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, the reason you wanna avoid these is because most people will do unpredictable, piecemeal, and often mind-numbingly boring work on these platforms. Now, there are some types of work you can do on these platforms that actually make money, but most people end up doing the stuff that doesn't really make that much money. And you might spend hours clicking on pictures of street signs only to earn enough for a value menu burger. And let's not even talk about the lack of benefits or career growth. And if you do the right types of tasks, you can actually make a decent amount of money. But as a career, it's about as promising as becoming a professional waterbed tester. Next is going to be data entry positions. Now, again, this is one of those where not all of the positions are scams, right? There's actually quite a few positions out there that are decent, but some of the positions that we see quite often are either scams or in many cases, they are just mind numbingly boring to the point where pretty much nobody can do these consistently for a long period of time. And these are basically jobs where you input endless streams of numbers and letters into databases. It's kind of like playing the world's most boring video game, except you can't even rage quit. Now, the reason you want to avoid these is many of these jobs pay insultingly low wages. We're talking three to five dollars an hour in some cases, and you'd probably make more money standing on a street corner with a will type for food sign. Plus, a lot of these so-called opportunities opportunities are actually scams designed to harvest your personal information. So not only do you not get paid, but you might also end up with a stolen identity. Fun times. Now I'm not saying all data entry jobs are bad. There are legitimate ones out there, but they're about as common as a polite comment section on YouTube. So proceed with extreme caution. Next is going to be content mills. Okay, so these are websites that churn out massive amounts
amounts of super low quality content faster than I go through coffee on a Monday morning, which is very fast. Now, if you've ever seen a job ad promising easy writing gigs, $1 per 100 words, congratulations, you've probably encountered a content mill. And these sites often masquerade as freelance writing platforms, but trust me, Hemingway would be rolling in his grave. Again, not all of these sites are bad. There's plenty of freelance writing platforms out there that are great, but the ones that are bad, you can kind of recognize them by this. Like the first thing is the pay is abysmal. We're talking pennies per word. You'd need to write a novel every single day just to make a minimum wage. Plus the work is often mind numbing and creatively stifling. Ever tried writing 500 words about the history of toothpicks? No, lucky you. Now I'll admit content mills can help beginners build a portfolio, but it's like building a portfolio out of macaroni art. Sure, it's something, but it's not exactly going to impress the loop. Speaking of content creation, are you tired of writing for pennies? Why not create video content instead? If you ever thought about starting a YouTube channel, I've got something special for you. There's going to be some free YouTube training down below that's gonna show you exactly how I started this channel and grew it to multiple six figures per month. And you can check that out by clicking the link in the description and the pinned comment below. And that way you don't have to make money by writing 10,000 words about 10 fascinating facts about watching paint dry. Now back to our list of jobs that'll make you want to become a YouTuber even more. Next is going to be virtual assistant mills. So these are companies that hire armies of VAs and then farm them out to clients for cheap. And it's kind of like being a temp, but with even less job security and more unrealistic expectations. Now, these mills often overwork and underpay their VAs, and you might find yourself juggling tasks for multiple clients, answering emails at 3 a.m., and still barely making enough to keep your Netflix subscription going. Plus, there's often very little room for growth or skill development. You're more likely to burn out than move up. And don't get me wrong, being a VA can be a great remote job, especially when you're working directly with clients or for a reputable company. But VA mills, well, they're about as good for your career as using your resume as a coffee coaster. Next is going to be unverified remote startup jobs. You know those ground floor opportunities at companies you've never heard of, promising stock options that'll make you the next Silicon Valley billionaire. Now, these jobs often sound amazing on paper. You know, be a part of the revolution in AI-powered dog walking, or join the Uber of underwater basket weaving. Because many of these startups are either completely fake, or they're so poorly managed that they might as well be. You could end up working for weeks or months without pay, only to find out that your stock options are worth less than Monopoly money. Now, I'm not saying all startup jobs are bad, right? Some can be fantastic. I'm just giving the warning signs to look for some of these scams after working with so many people over the years and seeing scam after scam after scam. So you really need to do your due diligence. Next is going to be cryptocurrency trading jobs. So yeah, number eight on the list. These are those too good to be true offers where someone promises to pay you for trading crypto on their behalf. But the spoiler alert is the only thing you'll be trading is your money for a hard life lesson. Now, many of these are just straight up scams. They might ask you to invest your own money first or use your personal information to open trading accounts. And the next thing you know, your life savings have vanished faster than a pizza at a frat party. Now, even if it's not an outright scam, day trading crypto is incredibly risky. The market is more volatile than a toddler on a sugar rush. And unless you really know what you're doing, you're more likely to lose money than to make it. Now, there are legitimate jobs in the crypto world, developers, marketers, customer support, but random people asking you to trade for them, that's about as trustworthy as an email from a Nigerian prince. Next is going to be remote customer service for notoriously difficult companies. You know, the ones where just hearing their hold music triggers your fight or flight response. Now, these jobs often seem appealing. Work from home, help people solve problems. How bad could it be, right? Well, spoiler, it could be really bad, like, really, really bad. So the reason why you want to avoid these, uh, first off, the stress levels are through the roof. Imagine spending eight hours a day plus being yelled at by angry customers because their toaster isn't smart enough. Now the pay is often very low, the hours can be brutal, and the chances for advancement are about as good as my chances of becoming the next Beyonce. Plus many of these companies use oppressive monitoring software. So every bathroom break, every sigh, every time you stretch, every moment of existential dread, all tracked and timed. Now customer service isn't all bad. There are great companies out there that treat their support staff well, but the notoriously difficult ones, well, you'd have a better time trying to herd cats in a thunderstorm. And the way you can recognize these is just simply looking the companies up on Glassdoor and seeing what people say about them. How about we flip the script? Instead of being on the receiving end of sales calls, why not be the one making them? But wait, before you skip ahead, I'm not talking about those annoying telemarketing jobs. I'm offering a free training on how you can get into tech sales as a business development representative. And it's kind of like customer service, but with better pay, less stress, and you get to be the caller instead of the callee. Plus, you'll develop skills that are actually in demand. 
hand. So it's a win-win. Intrigued? Well, go ahead, click the link in the description to learn more. It's going to be a free training that will teach you everything you need to know about tech sales. It's one of the best and easiest careers to get into. I have lots of interviews on this channel of people that have been able to land these jobs and they didn't have a college degree or previous experience. Next, we're gonna be talking about online tutoring platforms with predatory practices. So these are the companies that promise that you can teach English in your pajamas, but forget to mention that those pajamas better be caffeinated. Now, many of these platforms take a huge cut of tutor earnings. You might be getting paid $10 an hour, but the student is being charged $30 an hour. And the platform pockets the difference faster than you can say the rain in Spain stays mainly in the plane. Okay. Plus, some of these companies have insane requirements. They might dock your pay if your internet hiccups. Now, online tutoring can be a great gig if you find a reputable platform or work independently, but the predatory ones, they're about as good for your career as using fluent in emoji as a resume skill. So make sure you always look these up on Google and see what feedback other people are giving them. Now, one thing I wanna say is it's not all doom and gloom in the remote work world. There's plenty of legit remote work jobs out there. And that's basically what I do is I stay on top of these trends and I tell you guys the best ones available. Ones that are relatively easy to land, don't typically require a college degree or previous experience, and they pay really well. And if you wanna see the 21 highest paying work from home jobs that are almost always hiring, you can click right here to check that out.